Hey everyone, I want to give you guys a quick pistol brace update. Okay, so we have some testimony uh, by ATF Director uh, Dettelback before Congress this past week, who said that in order to come into compliance with the unconstitutional uh, pistol brace rule that, that the ATF came up with, all we have to do is remove the pistol brace uh, from the AR pistol, okay? Uh, So it's legal for you to have this, it's legal for you to have this, it's just questionable if these two things uh, can be attached to each other, okay? Uh, so in the past, there were people that were saying that um, uh, just simply removing the brace was not enough. You would have to change uh, the buffer tube so that there was no way that the brace could be attached uh, to the to the buffer tube uh, and it was quite you know I'm not blaming them I mean it was kind of questionable the way the uh, the rule was written but we've got Dettel back now on camera recorded as saying that all we have to do is remove these two okay um, so that said um, basically what you can do at this point is just remove these two uh, you throw both of them into the safe like this so basically it's really a, a storage rule right how are you gonna store the gun uh, you know, so, so, so you throw these two into the safe, uh, separated, uh, and you can wait and see what's going to happen with the courts, what the ultimate outcome is going to be. You don't have to, uh, destroy or surrender anything. You certainly don't have to register anything. Um, so you're, you know, you're good. Now we can, we, you know, time is kind of on our side now, um, because you don't have to throw any extra money into this okay now the one thing i would uh recommend that you don't do is use this type of a gun uh for any self-defense purpose okay because um if because right now this the legality of this is kind of in question and remember lots of prosecutors and cops are not gonna know the law they're not gonna know what that box said before Congress, right? Um, so, so a lot of prosecutors and cops may not be so familiar. Um, so I would not use this gun for a self-defense type of purpose. Um, in fact, what I would recommend, I recommend that you all have a prepaid legal service, okay? Because uh, remember, for that reason, that police and prosecutors often don't know the law, or especially with these uh, leftist prosecutors, they twist the law. Uh, into to mean whatever they want it to mean they redefine it. Uh, so that's why you never talk to, to the police It is legal for the police to lie to you. Okay, whether intentionally or just because they don't know the law uh, I have a prepaid legal service called uh, US Law Shield. I've done other reviews. I've done I've done videos where I've compared these to other uh, You know basically uh, Gun lawyers, right? These are gun lawyers. Other people will refer to it as gun insurance uh, and uh, this is the one I use because it's cheap. It's only $11. All right, there's the price there. It's actually $10.95. Uh, and then there's a promo code here that I got for you guys. Uh, Pocono Shooting. Uh, you have to sign up online or through their app in order to get the discount. The discount can be an extra month. Uh, so you get some discount. It, it does change from state to state. In some, case, in some states, you get two months. So use that, that promo code. And what you would do is, um, aside from what I'm saying... Uh, once you get the this legal service, what you would do is send these guys an email uh, asking for the legality of the pistol brace. Ask them to verify for you that, yes, they'll back said that, you know, we can just separate the two. Because now you have it in writing from a lawyer uh, rather than just a video from me that's floating around on the Internet. Okay, So, so ideally you want to get this in writing from a lawyer. That's primarily how I use these guys. Okay, I, I use them to gain information like that okay so uh this the reason why i use these guys is this, they're just the cheapest right eleven dollars a month uh plus with that promo code uh you get the discount so i use these guys to kind of like uh you know to, to basically be able to say that the reason why i'm doing it is because that lawyer over there told me to do so told me it's okay to do so and i have it in writing here the other way i use these guys if i'm traveling i get an itinerary from you get from these guys where i can take my guns where i can't and so forth. So I'll get an itinerary from them. Uh, and of course, if I'm ever in a self-defense situation, you don't talk to the police, you get these guys. So uh, going back to the uh, to the pistol brace issue, uh, I did a video in the past week where I was uh, 
recommending that people uh, change the AR upper, okay? And that might still be necessary because uh, necessary for not not for legal purposes, but it might be necessary for practical purposes uh, because there's I've been recommending AR pistols for the last few years to women as a primary home defense gun, right? So the pistol being the AR pistol being the primary and the handgun being the backup. Uh, the reason why I recommend AR pistols to women is because they're less front heavy, right? So women are able to hold this gun up comfortably and shoot it. Um, so this is a great gun for women. Uh, however, with the legality issue of the pistol brace, okay, uh, now let's, let's consider the option of removing the, the brace. Okay? So the brace basically stabilizes the gun. So now women would basically have to kind of cheek the gun. And what this does is it makes the gun uh, harder to hit the targets and it's harder for women to stabilize the targets. Now I can just like this, I can hit targets out standing. I can hit them out all the way out to 75 yards over there. But most women are going to require a little bit more stability. So what I have found in training, and I've actually been testing this out, when women are shooting the AR pistols with just with just the buffer tube, uh, I'm finding that they're you know they're, they're a lot less steady with the gun. Um, and the problem there is that they're going to miss the things that they're trying to hit and they might hit things that they don't want to hit. Okay. So, so having the brace, the brace on here, uh, is a, is, you know, basically makes the gun safer. Okay. So this ATF rule makes absolutely no sense because it makes this gun safer to shoot where you can put the bullets where you really want to put them. So because of that safety concern for most of the women that I train, I'm still going to recommend changing the upper, okay? Uh, pulling out the pins, right? This is a really easy thing to do. To pull out the pins and just take a, uh, you know, get an upper with a six inch barrel, put it on. Okay, and now they have a legal gun that they can use for self-defense. What they would do is they would shorten the brace over here, right? So that to bring the gun a little bit closer to their body, it's a little bit more, it's a lot more front heavy than the other gun. Uh, but it is, you know, uh, I mean, it's what they're going to have to do um, until this pistol brace rule gets resolved. The good thing is that they now no longer need to, they don't need to worry about what to do with this, right? Because this is perfectly legal. This can go in the back of the safe uh, until this uh, pistol brace rule gets resolved in the courts. And then later on, after we win in the courts, uh, this can, you know, th this can go back on here. Um, and if you look over here, this is, uh, I got, uh, this came from Palmetto. This is an AR upper for one of the women that I train. Uh, so these, I mean, they, I used to be able to get these for like $320. Now I think the price has gone up to $350. If you catch it on sale or something, you can get it close to like $300, closer to $300. Um, but the nice thing about this is, you know, you got that you get this and this is you want to get one that has that's skeletonized right you see how this has lots of holes over here because the more holes this has in the rear in the rail the less front heavy it's going to be so that's a, that's a really great for women um so what's going to happen is they're going to they're going to put you know they're going to put the, the 16 inch upper on the braced lower okay this goes in the safe okay, until we win in court ultimately. And then what's gonna happen is when we win, right, then this comes back off. Or rather, you can just stay back on. And all they have to do is now just get another palmetto lower, right, a, a brace lower. Actually, we're gonna, we wanna keep this one, but this one's braced. So we're gonna take this off. this off and throw this back on here okay and now for I think 150 to 200 dollars uh, you just get a standard lower with, with a regular stock and now they've got two guns okay so for so basically it, it's in the long run it'll work good for them because now they got an AR pistol and an AR rifle okay um, so they're gonna end up with two guns uh, at the end of all this so it's not the worst thing in the world the only thing that might that they have to be aware of uh, i think that there's some silly rule that says that once this lower becomes a rifle right uh it cannot go back to being a pistol 
right? Um, okay, so, so I think there is a rule on the books, technical rule on the books, that once this goes on the rifle, can't go back to being a pistol. So that means that this is going to have to stay on here, okay? And then what that means is that this is going to have to come off, okay? So now this is going to get a regular stock, okay? And then, in fact, it was, that's going to get a regular stock, and then what's going to happen is I'm going to get a, I would have to get a replacement lower with this, and then this would go on the replacement lower, okay? Uh, now, I mean, again, this is kind of like a technicality. Again, this is why you don't talk to the police because there's so many details. I mean, how much of that, of what I just said, is 100% correct? Is there an exception to something? I, I don't know. Maybe I didn't get all of that right, right? Um, because, it, as you know, I'm not 100% sure. So, again, that's why you don't talk to the police. That's why you have a prepaid legal service to do the talking for you, right? Even if it's just to explain that, you know, to, to explain what you did or not explain what you did. Because in most cases, you don't need to tell the police or, or, or the prosecutors exactly what you did. It's up to them to go figure out through their own means what you did or may not have done, okay? So you, so in reality, you would not, you know, through this whole process of buying uppers, uh, buying lowers, taking the brace off of one, putting the brace back on the other, you, you may have you may have committed some technical crime in all that. Like I, I don't know, you know. So even though the end result might be legal in the process, maybe you broke some law. I mean, I, I don't know. Um, but that's why you need a prepaid legal service. So to kind of act that as a buffer so that they, they can basically tell the police not to ask you any questions. And in most cases, they're going to tell the police, you know, what? we're not going to answer any questions at all. You know, you go you go out there and you figure out what this person may have done or may not have done, in which case, if they don't have evidence, uh, they can't prosecute. OK, so that's why the best thing to do is remain silent. Uh, don't admit to anything. Don't deny anything, right? Because if you try to deny things, right, somewhere in that denial process, um, you may, you know, in, somewhere in that denial process, you might make like a little teeny bitty mistake. And now all of a sudden they can use that teeny little mistake that you made as basically an admission to a crime. And now they can go get a warrant and now they can, you know, basically proceed further, right? So that's why you can't, you can't, uh, you don't want to talk to police at all, even to deny things, okay? So for example, with this case over here now, where I'm, I'm switching back and forth with this, I don't know what the issue, I don't, I'm not 100% sure with the legality, but basically uh, it is intended at this point that everything is going to become, uh, a, basically this is going to go sit in the safe. So this is all resolved. Uh, in the end, when this is all done, I'm just going to get uh, another braced pistol lower for this. Uh, so that at no point do I match this up with a lower that was at one point a rifle. Okay, so that's so that's one of the things you've got to be aware of. Now you might say, well, how would they even know that you did? Well, they don't know. That's why you keep your mouth shut. Okay, uh, and that's why you get the prepaid legal service. Okay, so again, it's it, this one is U.S. Law Shield. Okay, and uh, there's your promo code, Pocono Shooting. There's the website. All right, so that's one of the things to be aware of as we're going through this whole process as we're, sw as we're switching uh, uppers and lowers around that. Uh, once a pistol lower becomes a rifle, it may not be able to go back to being a pistol. Uh, so you gotta work, work your way around that, okay? Um, uh, so, yeah, so just, just be aware of that. Not too many people have been talking about that. Uh, you know, about that, that little detail over there. That, again, which might be self-incriminating if you talk about it thinking that it's legal. Maybe you did something that's somewhere in the process you did something that was not legal, okay? Uh, so, for right now, this goes in the safe until it's all resolved. And all the, basically, this upper is going to be a rifle. This rifle, this upper is going to be a rifle. Uh, and that's and that's the end of that. So hope you guys found this information useful. Uh, drop some comments below. So again, the big takeaway from all this is we got Dettelbach, ATF Director Dettelbach, telling us that all we have to do is remove uh, the pistol brace. We don't have to change the buffer tube or anything like that. So that's good. So it does, it's not going to cost you guys anything. Just remove the two, throw the two into the safe separately, and wait for the courts you know wait for all this to work its way throughout the courts if you're in the position where you only have 
Um, you only have uh, uh, an a, you know a, uh, an AR pistol. The easiest thing for you to do, if you have, if you only have an AR pistol and you need something that you can legally use for a self defense type of situation, uh, the next best thing to do is just get yourself an uh, a uh, an AR a rifle length AR upper, okay, and just pull out the pins and swap it in, and now you have a gun that you should be able to legally use. Again, quote legally should run this all through an attorney. Uh, get the final stamp of approval, and like I said, attorneys are very expensive. Like my regular lawyer charges like two hundred fifty dollars an hour, which is the reason why I try not to use them as much as possible. I try to use these guys as much as possible because they are only eleven dollars a month, you know. And then with the promo code, you get the you get some freebie. All right, so thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all soon.